Well, we know that autumn is a beautiful time in New York State, and the Erie Canal is such an important part of our history, and the two are coming together thanks to Niagara Outfitters and Libby Broderick, who is our guest this afternoon. It's so great to have you with us. Thank you for being here. You are doing e-bike tours here in Lockport. We want to learn a little bit more about that, but starting very basically, for people who maybe don't know, what is an e-bike? An e-bike is a um, an electric powered bicycle. So they're called e-assist, um, and that means they're uh, assisting you to pedal. Um, so they, you know, kind of you're kind of always in first gear. It's always really easy to pedal. You're just going a lot faster, and so you can go a lot farther than you would on a regular bike. What can people expect when they come out from one of these tours? Um, they can expect to fall in love with e-biking. <laughs> Everybody gets off at the first stop and says, I'm hooked. <laughs> so um, it's really fun. It's, you know, people who like biking, you know, like to go the distance. They like to be able to go even farther. But people who maybe haven't um, really taken to biking get on it. And it's just so fun that they really, you know, have a great time. Is this something that's suitable for everybody or is there a special age group? Um, well, in New York State, you have to be 16 years and older to ride an e-bike. Um, so that's, you know, the, the one thing. The other thing about them is that they do go fast. Um, we, we offer a class two e-bike, which goes up to 20 miles an hour. So you have, really have to be comfortable and competent riding a regular bike. Um, if you haven't ridden a bike in 30 years, then e-biking is probably not for you. But if you're active and comfortable on a regular bike, then for sure you can do it. So it, almost everybody. And aside from the fun of riding the bike, you're in such a historic and beautiful area. What makes this tour unique? The Erie Canal is really outstanding. Um, there's so much history and since I started doing the research, I just am amazed by um, how much history we don't know about the Erie Canal. It was really because of the Erie Canal that, you know, New York City became the port city that it was, New York State became the Empire State, that, you know, the United States was able to move west. One of my favorite parts is doing the research and telling the stories, so you have a hard time stopping me once I get going. <laughs> <laughs> well, it makes for a fun tour then because you have so much more information. I know you want to keep this rolling uh, into the winter time. Tell us kind of briefly where people can find you if they want to find out more information about what you got going on. Um, so yeah, we are going to be doing fall foliage tours along the canal throughout the fall. I mean, weather pending, it's really got to be a pretty nice day because when you're going 20 miles an hour, it can be chilly. <laughs> um, today's beautiful. We're really lucky out here. Um, but in the winter, we're going to move the bikes out to Wilson Tuscarora State Park where there's some amazing trails. We have fat tire bikes and that um, hopefully will allow us to ride on the trails in the snow. And so we're trying to come up with some kind of scavenger hunts and uh, maybe geocaching kind of things that, you know, give people an incentive to get out and enjoy the winter a little bit. What's your website? NiagaraOutfitters.com. More good times had by us on Most Buffalo. Thanks for joining us, everybody. I'm Kate Walsh, for Be Well, Stay Well. We'll see you next time.